This is Ben from techlockdown.com. If you followed any of my other guides about blocking harmful content on the internet, you might be wondering how you should handle a website like YouTube. In this video, I'll give you an overview of my techniques for filtering content on YouTube, but you should reference the guide that I link below because it'll contain the most up-to-date instructions on how to do this. My first recommendation involves blocking video thumbnails. And thumbnails are just that preview image that you see before you actually click in to watch a video. Thumbnails are typically designed to draw your attention to the video so that you're more likely to watch it. So a lot of video creators will use clickbait tactics to really kind of entice you into watching their video. Blocking thumbnails replaces the normal preview image with just a blank space. And you'll have to read the video title to figure out what the video is about. There are a few ways that you can block thumbnails. One of these methods involves blocking the web addresses that YouTube uses to serve those thumbnails to the YouTube app and the YouTube website. Keep in mind that YouTube might change these web addresses in the future, so you should reference the guide below in case these addresses have changed since I've made this video. Another method for filtering content on YouTube involves blocking searches that contain certain keywords. This approach will make it a lot harder to discover new videos and channels that are not already being suggested by YouTube. When you search for something on a website like YouTube, the URL in your address bar will change to include that keyword that you've just searched for. If you're using a blocking application that supports URL filtering, you can just block any searches that contain that keyword. The most well-known way to filter content on YouTube is to enable the YouTube restricted mode. YouTube has their own content filter that you can toggle on by enabling restricted mode. And this is generally pretty good at identifying adult themed content and blocking it. The downside of enabling YouTube's restricted mode is that you will likely block a lot of videos that you should have access to, and it can disable features like commenting on videos. If you want to prevent someone from just toggling off restricted mode or signing out of the YouTube account to just access an unfiltered YouTube, you can use a DNS filtering service to enforce YouTube's restricted mode. I hope this advice helps you get closer to a healthier relationship with your technology. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe for more content like this.